Hey everyone, I've got something a little different for you here today. Just a bit of a preview in person of the Wave 9 items, the figures and gadgets from LEGO Dimensions. Uh, these have not yet been released to the public. I was sent them by one of the large gaming media companies on behalf of LEGO. And since I didn't purchase these, of course, I will not be reviewing them. But I can show them to you because I have them. This is the entire Beetlejuice sub-theme here, just one fun pack. I do believe it is highly unlikely that we will ever get anything else Beetlejuice related from LEGO, although they did get the license, so I guess it would be possible, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen. This just comes with Beetlejuice himself and a sandworm, or rather a bit of a sandworm that's sticking up from the ground, that's the buildable part and Beetlejuice himself as a figure does look really good. I think it's going to be very collectible and he does have an alternate face as well. Teen Titans Go! gets a team pack with the T-Car, Beast Boy, Raven, and Raven's Spellbook of Azeroth. And then they also get a fun pack which just comes with Starfire and a pretty nice build for the Titan robot. The robot is able to stand on its own without its stand, but it does not have a face. But speaking of faces, Starfire does get an alternate expression on her figure. The builds for the team pack are rendered in vastly different scales. And then once again, you do get two faces for each of the figures. And then the team pack for Powerpuff Girls actually gets two exclusive prints for the builds each of them uh, two by two, so the square two by two tile here, and a pair of these two by two round tiles. When I first took these figures out of the box, I was shocked at the size of their heads. It's enormous relative to regular minifigs, but combined with the short legs that are identical between them, I think they actually scale up pretty well. These are dual molded, and of course there are no alternate faces to be seen with those. Last up is the Powerpuff Girls Fun Pack. As usual, this comes with just one figure and one vehicle or gadget to use with that figure or to use with any other. Now, I was able to already load up each of the characters actually in-game, and that's how I got the official instructions for the builds for each of these. I believe the adventure worlds and battle arenas for these themes are also already built, but you can't access and download that content, I think, without a special code until the public release. And I just don't have any of those codes. Here are just some quick clips though of the main characters and their primary builds in the lobby of the game without any upgrades. So thanks go out to LEGO and their partners for making this possible. And I hope you've enjoyed this quick preview of these upcoming sets. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.
Yeah.